Okay, so continuing on, um, normally when I do upgrades to laptops, I usually do these in steps, but because this is fairly straightforward, once again, I've already prepped, um, I'm going to go ahead and just knock out both at the same time, but hopefully everything works the way it's supposed to, and that's one of the main reasons why I do everything um, sequentially, because if there is an issue, uh, you know, it's easy for me to troubleshoot it versus making a lot of different changes. Sorry, put that plug up. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to remove the screen. Um, I know that I am going to need some tools for this. I have some small screwdrivers there that I really don't feel like using, so I'm going to use these guys because I like them more. Um, we can put the battery out of the way for now. I don't need that. Um, I've already made sure that I'm grounded and it's not going to be any static discharge once I get in there. So the first thing, it's pretty straightforward, I have to remove the border from around the screen. Uh, the way you do this, you can use a pry tool, but this one is fairly simple to take off. So all you have to do is, and because part of this I already popped off earlier, it's pretty straightforward. You just got to... Hopefully, I don't make a video of me breaking it, um, but uh, you're doing it from the inside, so you really shouldn't break a clip if you do it this way. So there we go. So now that that's all, place this side, and I'm going to need a Phillips. So, let me see, those screws are pretty tiny. So they've got four on the outside. And then once I get underneath here, there should be some tape that I'm going to have to remove for the plug. And then after that, that's really about it. So... So now the screen should come forward. Still going to be attached because what they do at the factory is they put a piece of tape there and what ends up happening and I can turn it towards the camera hopefully you can see that um, we'll just have to actually peel it back and then we can take this guy see if I can adjust the light just a little bit okay and put the other screen in Once again, it's just a matter of peeling the tape back. I'm not too concerned about this screen because I am replacing it. With the other screen. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave the bubble wrap or the screen protector on just because I'm gonna lay it down as well. So easy peasy, that's the screen. Once again, you can see the old connector there. So now that we've gotten that off, I can place it to the side and I can get the new screen. So the new screen, of course, it's still kind of wrapped up. Um, what I'm going to need to do is remove a few things um big difference is the components um they're actually protected by a clear plastic versus the black plastic we'll leave that and then the only thing that i'm gonna have to unwrap is going to be like i said the screen protector so we'll put this back on the board I can't see this, but it's got to slide back in there. There we go. Uh, almost. 
tape actually helped a little bit. But I didn't have it lined up the right way. There we go. So now, we're in there. So, try not to put too much pressure on it because once again, well, fairly delicate. Fold this back boy back up into place. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the screws in this and we're going to move on to the next part which would be the SSD. The SSD is going to be pretty straightforward. Um, really. I dropped the screw. Okay. That's why I have tweezers. Too easy. Flip that around. That way. So, good to go there. One screw. the tab is actually bent. That's weird. Hmm. May have come, well it had to come like that because I know I didn't bend it. So now I'll we'll go over here to this side. Add in another screw. Mm, as well these things couldn't be any smaller. way. Let me see. Um, what did I do with my magnetic screwdrivers? Okay, get it started. Once again, I'll come back and tighten all these up. Do that last though. This is the one that was actually bent a little. Okay. And the last one, which was here. Let's do this. Toss this last one in, and then I will move on to the next thing. Okay, so that's in. This guy's in. Let's tighten it a little. This guy's in. And this guy. Okay. This one just seems like it was just... Okay, there we go. Alright. So the next thing we're going to do is the hard drive. So generally when you take these hard drives out... I'm going to move some of this stuff out of the way. So when you buy it, it comes with this tray that you may or may not end up using. And there's also a tray in here that actually... Uh, keeps everything in place, actually it holds the SSD in place. The way that you get to it is you flip it over and I think what I'm going to do is zoom in just a little bit so you can kind of see what I'm doing here. 
this gimbal is like extremely sensitive. Okay. I think that's good. So now, what you want to do is you want to turn it over. You'll see the service panel here is just one screw, and you just need to take it out. Uh, let me go uh, down just a little more. Okay. So about right there. Then, same thing. Take it out. And then, sorry, so the screw should fall out. You can tell this thing has probably never ever come apart outside of being slow and it's put together. That was about it. So this is what I'll do. Turn it upside down. Mm. See it moving. All right. So there we go. Easy peasy. So now, paranoid. Touch my ground again just to make sure. A static discharge. And then now, if you're going to look inside of here, and you'll see there's a little tab. And that is how you get your hard drive out. So when we put it back in there, we're just going to put it back in the exact same way. But it's pretty straightforward. And then now, you just pull your hard drive out. So that's the hard drive. Like I said, it was a uh, traditional, you know, hard drive. Um, nothing special. 500 gigabytes. So now what we're going to do is we're going to see which way the pins are in it, which is pretty straightforward. So these pins should match up. Same connections, right? Okay. So it's going to go in just like this one came out. Granted, now, like I was saying before, there's spacers on the drive that you have to remove. Once you've done that, you place them on the new drive. And then, one of the things that I like to do is to take the tape off. But the problem with doing that on this at times is you have to unscrew a lot of this just to get to it. So physically, these two drives definitely match up. I probably could. Let me see. I probably could. Probably want the screws to go in from the side. Not a huge fan of that. Okay. So let's see. I could take these off, take the tape out, and then just swap it over to my drive, which is what I think I want to do. So. What I'll be doing really is just using their tray, the tray that came in the laptop. Provided this thing comes off. Okay. Thanks, Lenovo, for using a bunch of different size screws and not making my life simple. Okay. One. Two. All right, two more. Okay. Three. And the last one. And four. All right. So now, this should separate like that. Okay. So, if this is a 2.5, which is what it actually is, this is a 2.5 also, it should fit in a tray. And it does, right? So I don't have to use their adapters. I use my own, well, the ones that came on the laptop. And now, all I need to do, make sure you tuck this under, because you have to put the door back on, and then you can just slide this in there. And once you get it in there, it's gonna go right into those two connectors. And, you are good to go. Everything should be seated, and we'll find out shortly when we turn this bad boy on. Um, 
I'm not going to put the screen surround back on until I know that everything is good to go. So this is the one I use for this screw. And yep, Bob's your uncle. So let's um, get a little organized real quick here. Sorry, pet peeve of mine. Put my tools back. Put these guys over here. Okay, remove this and this. Um, a lot of times what I do with my drives, because, I mean, they're still drives, I can still store stuff. I, uh, a lot of times we'll just make them into external drives, but, uh, I don't know. I may not even do that this time. Okay, so, time to grab the battery. Put the battery back in. Okay. So, once again... That's where we're at. Still have these extra screws from the other. I um, think that I'm good here. So now, what I'm gonna do is just check to make sure everything looks the way it's supposed to. All right, and let's see. We can go ahead and power on. Okay, that's a good sign. For two reasons, because number one, it needs to access the drive in order for this to work. And number two, we put a screen in. The screen was jacked up. I can already tell you the screen actually looks better than what we took off of there. And fairly quick, fingerprint reader initialized. It's booting up and okay. It's got some updates there. It's telling me my drivers were installed for this software. Um, yeah, it looks fine. So what I'm gonna do now is remove my screen protector. And that concludes this video for now. So let me zoom out real quick because I know you probably missed all of that. And yeah, so what I'll do is I'm going to restart real quick. So then you can see, once again, the screen is glossy. Um, not a huge fan of glossy screens, never have been. I'm going to try to move my light out of the way. Okay, yeah, <laughs> let's just do this back over here. How about that? Mm. Okay, and we'll put this guy, wow, keep putting it right back in the light. All right, so we'll do that one more time. And eventually I'll do a uh, comparison between this and the X250, but you see how fast that is? Because of the SSD. It's pretty squared away. All right, that concludes this video and on to the next.